Hi, welcome to the first part of our video series on customizing the user interface in Dynamics Nav. This video will discuss how to customize the Dynamics Nav user interface and provide a background on the list and card pages. In the same way as we can personalize a ribbon, we can also personalize a navigation pane. Navigation pane can be found at the left side of the system. There are two ways to customize a navigation pane. The first way is by clicking on the blue drop down arrow and then selecting Customize Navigation Pane. Another way is by right clicking on the home icon. From here, I can see the navigation pane buttons that we are currently using, such as Home, Posted Documents, and Departments. On the right side, I can see the Content per Navigation Pane button. We can change the content of the Home Navigation Pane, which is the Home Menu. Suppose, for example, we don't use Sales Journals and we'd like to remove this from the Role Center menu because we only want to see the functions which we'll actually use. To remove the Sales Journals, I can click on Remove, and I'm going to click OK. From here, you'll see that we don't find any of the sales journals anymore. Apart from removing items or lists in the Role Center menu, we can also add lists. So for example, suppose that besides customers, I also want to consult vendors for my Role Center. So I can go to Add, and then here you can see the available lists. I'll expand the Financial Management, and then the payables, and then select vendors. So say for example, I'd like to place vendors right below the customers, I can just select that and then click move, move up. And then I'll select OK. So here you can see that the vendors is directly placed below the customer list. Take note that we cannot remove the home navigation pane. By default, the home navigation pane will always be there. We can also create new navigation pane buttons. Suppose that there's a specific procedure that you have to follow when closing a month. So I can click on new and then I'll pick an icon. And then I'll mark this as closing. So now I have a new navigation pane button and I can start adding all the lists and activi activities that we need in order to do a closing. So for example, I'll select add and then I'll expand the financial management module and I'll go into periodic activities and fiscal year and accounting periods. Then I'll add financial management receivables and add the customers. And I'll click OK. Now you can see that there's a new closing menu appearing and everything we just added is now included here in the close menu. And if I needed to do a closing each month, I don't need to go into the departments and look for all the different lists that we need. I can just go to the newly created closing menu and find everything I need to do the closing. We also have the restore defaults option. So if you'd like to restore to the default of the role center, including the configuration, then you can simply click on restore defaults. And so by doing this, you will see that now that my closing menu, which is still shown here, will now be removed. And that we will not only have any vendors anymore and that the sales journal is added again.
If we work in Microsoft Dynamics Nav, we work in pages. So basically what you see in the application is a page. There are many different types of pages, but we will have a more detailed look at two of the most used ones, which is the page list and the page card. Let's start with the list page. So here you can see an example of a typical list page, which is the customer list. A list page always has a ribbon, so all the different actions and functions are available in the ribbon. Then there's a filter pane. And here, if you want to filter, for example, customers, you can do this by going to the filter pane and entering a specific filter. Then there's the list itself, showing a listing of all the different customers in this case. And then we also have the fact box pane. The fact box will show us information for which we would normally have to open the customer card, but that we now have and can simply consult by looking at the fact box pane. Let's have a look at in the application. So here in Microsoft Dynamics Nav, I have the same example open, which is the customer list. And you can see the different components appearing. So I can see the ribbon with the three different levels, the tabs, the groups, and the actions. You can also see the filter pane, which I can also expand. You have the list of customers itself, so the different customers that our demo company Cronus is using. And if I select a specific customer at the right side, you can see the fact boxes. So I can expand this. And from here, I can see that this customer has 10 orders and we already posted 21 invoices and the balance is 188,000. I can see additional information without, without having to go to underlying pages or without having to open the customer card. Now let's also have a look at card pages. Similar to list pages, you will see that some of the components are the same. Card pages also have ribbons. And typically for card pages, we work with fast tabs. So in this case, you can see an example of the customer card and the customer card has a general fast tab, including communication, invoicing, payments, and statistics. And the general fast tab, as you can see here, is an expanded fast tab. So a fast tab that denotes that it is opened. The other fast tabs are collapsed, meaning they're closed. However, even on closed and colla or collapsed fast tabs, you can still see some values appearing. That's what we call promoted fields. And then you can also see a fact box pane, which is in the example here. So most card pages also have fact boxes. Let's also have a look at the application. So I'm going to double click into the Canon group to open this customer's card page. So in this case, you'll notice that my general fast tab is open. What you will see is that you can open as many fast tabs as you want. So if I would like to work at the same time in the general fast tab and the payments fast tab, I can very easily do this by also expand, expanding the payments fast tab. So depending on the screen resolution that you're using, you might be able to open multiple fast tabs and work together within the fast tabs. Even a closed fast tab already shows us some information. So I'm gonna close the payments fast tab. And the communication fast tab as well. So I can already see here that the payment terms is one month and that this customer has domestic reminder terms and so on. We also have fact boxes. So also here, we don't need to go to any underlying ledger entries or pages or whatever to see the orders. The posted shipment, the invoices of this customer are already shown. So we can consult this directly in the sell to customer sales history fact box. And this concludes this video on exploring and customizing pages and the user interface in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.